What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do daily videos, a lot of live streams, a lot of giveaways, and it's the place to get better. You're going to uh, tell your alliance about it, and you guys can study all the videos, and we'll get better together. If you know anything that I don't know, tell me in the comment section down below. So, guys, I've got some pretty exciting news. I will be casting the Dragon Campaign playoffs on December 10th. They start on December 10th. I'll probably be doing them like um, all week or however long it takes. Um, it might take like a couple weeks. I can't really remember how long it takes. I'll have to look at the details of it. But I'll either be streaming here on my channel or on the official Clash of Kings channel. Um, you know, their main YouTube channel. I'll be streaming on one of the two. Possibly over on my uh, Twitch or unless Clash of Kings makes their own Twitch, I might stream over there. I don't know yet. We'll figure out the details to it. But I'm... It's pretty amazing because not only that, there will be a spectate mode. Now, I don't think the spectate mode will be ready um, whenever. I think I'm going to be basically testing it. And, um, you know, the developers will be testing it during this period of the Dragon Campaign playoffs. But in the future, we might be able to just spectate whatever Dragon Campaign we want. So if you know a strong alliance or if you see two strong matchups, every week on um, Fridays and Saturdays, we can make a lot of videos and have a lot of fun doing dragon campaign live streams say your kingdom's very strong and you're matched up with another strong kingdom we can watch it or um if you're like a newer kingdom and you're matched up with an equally powerful kingdom we can watch it and give you tips and maybe just have some fun hang out it's something to do and that's why i'm happy that they're actually putting something in the game where it's something more that we can do now um on a lesser exciting note i'm going to show you a screenshot that i have right here i'm not sure what this is all about it seems like it could be kind of like Kingdom Conquest. Let me go over to my home screen right now so I can show you. Okay, so let's see. Look here. My lord, we will be testing a new feature, the plunder card, in Kingdom 2 and in Kingdom 6 today. Test time. Blah, blah, blah. Castle requirements, level 19. Game version, the new version. When test is over, all the plunder cards will be taken back by the system. During the test period, all the lords with a castle level 19 or higher will get three plunder cards when logged into the game. Um, effect of the plunder card. After using it, you can plunder in another kingdom without any castle level limitation. Limitation. Castles level 19 or higher than the game version. You cannot use any alliance related function when you are in another kingdom. Um, you can only play the regular war gameplay such as attack scout rally etc after using the plunder card you can also use the invisible and magic mirror to find a better plundering location so it seems like this is like a mini it's like a mini kingdom conquest where you get three plunder cards now i don't know if the card lets you go to that kingdom for the duration of the plunder or if it's just like you get three cards so that you can attack three castles, then you can use the mirror, magic mirror to find out where the best resources are and go steal them. That's kind of what I'm thinking it's going to be. So, a little bit of news. I always share the news with you guys. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, so, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But, um, scheduling guys, the Dragon Campaign got moved back to um, 1 a.m., on I guess Saturday morning it'll be it's still like Friday night but it's right after midnight one hour after midnight so it's uh three hours or four hours later than usual sorry about that we had to make it so where our Arabic players could play as well because I try to accommodate for everybody and I'll make it a little bit less um you know of a good time for me if it does help out some of the other players in the alliance because I can get on it anytime uh really but that's going to be all, guys. We're going to be doing the Dragon Campaign playoffs, and I'm really, really excited about it. Now, hopefully, I can open the dialogue back up with the Clash of Kings developers, and we can get some more events, and we can get open events and um, private events, and, um, you know, we can even... You know how many rich people there are in China and around the world that would love to fund their own tournaments, their own events, things that take real skill, and, um, you know, you could even put, like... Uh, um, stat block like you could put cap limits on your tournaments if you want to set a private dragon campaign event and say okay we're going to cap everything at 200 percent attack and defense so then people will have to say okay well since it's capped at 200 percent, i'm just going to try to set my skills up to where it's basically i have like equal everything rather than just have 400 percent archer attack and be unstoppable so i'm also trying to get them to nerf the archers 
um, attack right now because it's just way too overpowered. Everything needs to be balanced. If someone sends a full march of archers, then, you know, they should get slaughtered if the other person has cavalry and siege. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty annoying that that's like that. But hopefully we can fix it, guys. And if we can, I'll let you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Teamwork does make the dream work. Smash that thumbs up button and click on these videos that are popping up on the screen right now. It helps me out a lot. Click that subscribe button, and when you do, make sure you turn on all notifications. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you tonight. Uh, I'll be doing a Clash Royale video. Peace.